So, you might have heard about the tale of Arachne. This is not the story about the spider in the video game or the spider in that other video game. And it's not the story about the Arachne from that really terrible TV show, Hercules, the journey, Legendary Journeys. And you know, the one where she's a really gross half woman, half spider, and she lays eggs in people's bodies and kills them. This is not that one. And it's not even the one about that cute little spider in the last unicorn. This is the tale from Greek mythology of Arachne. And she was a woman whose name in Greek means dumbass who pissed off the gods. You ever notice there's a lot of Greek names that seem to mean dumbass who pissed off the gods? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, she was a spinner and a weaver, and she was really good at it, man. She was the best in town. And people would come by and watch her spin and tell her how awesome she was. And she would say things like, yeah, I know. And one time, somebody told her that she had such talent. She was so good. She should thank the gods for the gift that they had given them. And she said, oh, honey, this ain't got nothing to do with the gods. This is all me. And about five seconds later, Athena shows up on her doorstep in the disguise as an disguised as an old woman and the old woman tells arachne that you had better apologize and beg the gods forgiveness and arachne tells her you know get bent and five seconds after that the old woman turns into athena and five seconds after that arachne finds herself in a spinning weaving competition with the goddess athena so First they spin their yarns and then they weave their tapestries. Athena creates a tapestry that shows the power of the gods and their dominion over humans. And Arachne spins a very, very fine yarn and she weaves a tapestry that shows mostly gods acting like buttheads. Mostly it was about Zeus seducing and taking advantage of one hapless human woman after another like he did because you know he was a total dog. Athena sees the work that Arachne has done and there are two problems with it. Number one, it's insulting to the gods and number two, it's better than hers. So Athena gets really pissed off and she rips up the tapestry, tears it into shreds and then she turns Arachne into a spider forced to spin and weave for all time and we all know what happens to spider webs as soon as that poor little spider's done making them something comes along and rips them up and they have to start all over again and that's the Greek story and here are the lessons that as a Texas girl I can tell you you should learn from this story number one be humble if you're really awesome at something don't rub it in people's faces they don't like that number two if an old woman that you don't even know comes all the way to your front door to tell you that you are being a jerk and you had better quit it, you say, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? Ma'am. And you're nice to her and you smile at her and you're just as sweet as she can be. And when she leaves, you shut the door behind her, lock it, and don't ever let her back in. Number three. If you ever find yourself in a competition with a god and or goddess, you let them win. Duh. They're really terrible, gods and goddesses. They're like two-year-olds with magical powers or, you know, house cats. You just let them do whatever they want, however they want, and life will be easier. So there you go. A few life lessons on how not to get turned into a spider. 